Hello and uh, welcome to episode 61 of uh, Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers and uh, looks like there is some sort of... Yeah, it's a, wow, it's actually the first time um, in this place with uh, Gale Force Wind. I have never actually seen anything like this before. Alright, well, uh, in the last episode we were chasing off a shy here, uh, since uh, his wife was pretty worried about him. And uh, yeah, so it appears he is looking to. Uh, I'm looking for a way to actually become a better mayor, basically. Well, the mayor he haven't accepted the role of just yet. So let's talk to uh, Crystal here and see uh, uh, what's going on. Greetings, friend, and to you too, Master Shy. I presume you are here to ask uh, after uh, Brandon? I couldn't help you overhear your earlier uh, exchange. Yes, well, uh, with uh, Walfrey gone, Yulmar wants, uh, wants for a leader. Should no one uh, rise to the challenge, the city could uh, very well collapse. I came here speaking... I. I came here seeking uh, Brandon's console in the hope that uh, we could build a better Yulmar together. And that is uh, still my wish. But given uh, how abominably uh, you, you were uh, mistreated there, I will uh, quite understand if you uh, choose not to help. Were it not must Master Shai, I bear no grudge against uh, you or the people of uh, Yulmar, and I would not uh, see you suffer uh, for Wolfrid's villain. Uh, as you no doubt uh, gathered uh, from your meeting earlier, uh, Renan can be rather uncompromising. He has his uh, principles, you see, and uh, little patience uh, and little patience for anyone he deems less uh, committed to their own. Uh, your desire to uh, right the wrongs uh, of your past, of Yulmor's past, is uh, quite ad uh, admirable. But I fear uh, the guilt you bear uh, on the city's behalf works against you. I can uh, see if you, I can see it in your eyes. In the way you carry yourself, it goes uh, without saying. He sees it as well. You must uh, let those uh, feelings go, Master Shy. Be more uh, assertive. Commit to this cause, of course, and uh, prove to him uh, Yulmore has the resolve to change. There's the resolve to change. I believe he was uh, heading toward pit 8 uh, when he left. If you uh, plan to go and uh, speak with him, I suggest you, f you be firm and clear in your intentions. Very well, to pit 8 we shall go, and I will uh, not take uh, no for an answer, nay, not even a maybe. Alright, and uh, between episodes here, yeah, I uh, picked up the last quest and did it, so yes, we do have flying now.
Well, well, it's you again. Then I see you've invited your friends. Need them to fight your battles for you, do you? No, I, I, I didn't invite them, as it happens. Uh, though they are indeed my friends. Well, not only mine, but every true Yulmorans. They are the ones who awakened us to the truth, to Lord Forthree's villainy, the famous warriors of darkness. Are they now? Yes, they are. It would be no exaggeration to call them our saviors. We owe much and more to their kindness, but we cannot depend on that kindness forever. To do so would be a little different from entrusting our affairs to Lord Vorthry. Nay, we must learn to stand on our own two feet. And I would have them present to witness my attempt. Hear, hear, Master Chai. Your sentiments are admirable. Yet admirable sentiments do not a nation make. In my capacity as advisor, I once strove to build a better Yulmor. Gave honest counsel to my superiors, drafted laws for the benefit of one and all. But in time, my values fell out of favor. There was no need for them in this paradise Vorthry was creating. And so I left my homeland behind. But you, Chai News, you were content to wallow in indolence under Vorthry's auspices. And so I cannot help but ask myself what manner of nation you intend to build. I... Uh, I can offer no simple answer to that question. This much I will say. It is my hope that Yulmore can become a nation which her citizens might freely choose to build together. <laughs> a great many people, myself included, flocked to Yulmore seeking sanctuary. The alternative being to live in fear and die in pain. It seemed an easy choice. And sanctuary we found. As much food and drink as we could ever want. Secured at the cost of the surrounding villages. Little wonder the people gathered at our doorstep, begging to work among the bonded. The free were blind to it all, of course. Content to, as you say, wallow in indolence. In ignorance. Were I mayor, I would first take stock of the city's resources and see that they were assigned equitably. Our days of reckless consumption are behind us. The distinction between free and bonded died with Vorthry. The needs of rich and poor alike must be considered if our nation is to survive. To which end I would take steps to secure channels for supplies, rekindle relations with nearby settlements, who re-establish industry, reach out to neighboring nations, and the list goes on and on. But I am no ruler, nor even a politician. I am an entrepreneur. My expertise lie in planning and profit. I haven't the knowledge or experience to run a nation. Please, Rendon, will you not help me? Together, we could solve the city's problems. Build a Yulmor for the people. A Yulmor for the people.
I'd rather like the sound of that. But before I offer you my counsel, I would be certain of your ability to perform the duties of office. You would? <laughs> of course you are. You ask me to help you solve Yulmore's problems. But first, I would see you solve one on your own. Accomplish that, and you will prove both to me and the people that you are a man worth following. Soon we will have a very fun quest ahead of us. And I'm even considering if I'm going to fail it once just so you guys can see it. Um, right then. Is there a particular issue uh, you would uh, have me resolve? You seem to have uh, conducted an assessment uh, of the problems Yulmore now faces. I assume you will uh, agree, therefore, that the matter of uh, dwindling food, food stores is the most pressing. Ah, yes. Uh, me all being uh, neither a desirable nor less a sustainable option, I assume uh, alternative foodstuffs are now required uh, to fill the void. And the man who uh, hungers is not like to uh, contribute uh, much to uh, society. Same violence perhaps. So tell me, how do you uh, propose to uh, solve this problem? Uh, give me a, a satisfactory uh, answer and I will consider offering you my uh, counsel. thinking for a long time hmm a combination of uh, measures uh, would seem to be in order one to address the immediate issue of uh, supply and another that of uh, production go on for the present uh, Yulmore coffers can be uh, used to purchase food uh, from our neighbors this would uh, uh, afford us uh, time to address the underlying problem that affects us all. The long-standing uh, neglect of uh, agriculture. agriculture. The villagers uh, that once uh, served as uh, sources of trade for uh, foodstuffs must be uh, repopulated. Their means uh, of production restored. Uh, this assumes, uh, of course, that we can uh, reki rekindle uh, relations with our neighbors, uh, guaranteed security and uh, stability in the region, and most importantly, find uh, people willing to uh, leave the city and take up uh, the rebuilding effort. My, my. Think of that all by yourself, did you? <laughs> He's brutal. <laughs> well, yes. I began as a rather abstract plan I drafted some uh, time ago after uh, speaking with the people of uh, Yulmore and the nearby settlements. Huh. You impressed me, Shy News. Uh, I have? Well, that is a relief. <laughs> oh, you haven't uh, secured my uh, support just yet. Only my attention. Uh, grand plans will not be enough uh, to uh, per persuade the uh, masses. If you would ask them uh, to rebuild, 
you must uh, provide them uh, the means to do so. A fair point, Brendan, and one of which I have uh, given much thought. I propose uh, the use of Talos to aid the uh, establishment and uh, main maintenance of uh, these settlements. Their employment uh, should uh, drastically improve uh, efficiently, efficient, efficiency and uh, ultimately increase uh, production. Alos? But Deadly Stoneworks uh, closed their doors years ago. Without a uh, ready supply of uh, necessary equipment, the people would uh, starve before your plan uh, could be put into effect. Well, as the heir of uh, Deadly uh, Stoneworks, it just uh, so happens that the Talos are my uh, field of expertise. And with a little and with a little help, I'm quite certain uh, we can acquire uh, what we need in uh, no time at all. Alright, there we go. So, what do we have here? Determination, vitality and tenacity. Uh, no, no, no. One. Brandon is quite right. Building Talos from uh, scratch would uh, require time we simply do not have. Uh, which is why I propose to make us uh, uh, make use of. Uh, the long abandoned talus which uh, wander the wilds of uh, Colusia. They will need uh, to be uh, deactivated of course, and if uh, memory serves, the tools uh, required to do so uh, should still uh, be at top rung. Come with me. Alright! Ah, the old memory hasn't let me down. This chest uh, contains uh, canisters filled with uh, a dash. Uh, dashedly potent uh, insulating powder uh, capable of uh, halting the flow of ether in the, in the palace. Uh, we need only uh, get within uh, throwing distance. Uh, of one and uh, let fly. Thus uh, disabling uh, them without damaging them. Ingenious. Uh, an old trick uh, of the trade, nothing more. Once disabled, uh, it should be a simple enough uh, matter to uh, get them to march uh, to a good mode. More uh, extensive uh, repairs can, can wait. Ordinarily, this is where I would uh, ask you to uh, run along and do the deed, but as uh, I have said before, it's high time uh, we learn to uh, stand on our own two feet. Uh, thankfully, uh, throwing uh, canisters is uh, something even I should be able to uh, manage. <laughs> I hope so. Come off it, Monster Shy. Even if uh, the Talos ain't uh, a threat, there's a hundred and one uh, other things out there uh, waiting to make a meal out of you. Uh, 
That's as a that's as may be guys for sure. But uh, Brandon uh, tasked me with uh, solving this problem, and I will not sit idly by uh, while others risk everything to uh, see my uh, brain uh, schemes realized. Not this time. Uh, which isn't uh, to say uh, the mere thought of it uh, doesn't fill me with uh, doesn't fill me with dread. Truth, truth uh, be told, I can feel I can feel my legs. I can't feel my legs. <laughs> okay. But if I'm uh, to prove I'm a man worth uh, following, I must uh, lead by example. Well said, Mosey Shai. Alright, but if there is uh, any trouble, uh, call it off. Uh, here, here. <laughs> Yes, well, it should go uh, without saying that I have uh, no intention of uh, dying for this. Uh, I always uh, preferred living uh, to see the fruits of uh, my labors. And to make uh, sure I do, uh, I will uh, require your help. It is as uh, Kai Shear says, these lands are uh, dangerous. If one is not uh, careful, uh, I would uh, ask you to. I would ask you to use my uh, spyglass to look uh, out for any uh, bees that could uh, get in the way of my work. I will also uh, need uh, to alert. Uh, I will also need you to uh, alert me uh, when it's safe uh, to subdue the talos. Good, and let's uh, be off uh, to the quick way. Uh, then let then let's be off to the quick way uh, through the north gate to see if uh, we can find uh, a suitable vantage point for you. Oh, I'm supposed to click on this one. I forgot. I did it! I did it! Let's move uh, on to another teller, shall we? Nope. This is what happens when... Uh,
God damn it, he turned. <laughs> ah, this is hard. I think there is a third one too, if I remember correctly. Maybe this was the last one. Uh, you may leave uh, the next one to me, Joffrey. There we go. And he just hit level 70 right now. <laughs> mm. I can scarcely uh, believe it. It was uh, it was a reckless uh, foolish plan, but somehow it worked. I... I did it. Oh, so shy. I believe I owe you an uh, apology. Your plan to uh, replenish Yulmors, uh Yulmore's food stores uh, showed uh, poor forth and uh, sound judgment. What's more, uh, it is uh, plain uh, your time at uh, Deadly Stoneworks has uh, equipped you uh, to leave, as ed evidenced uh, by uh, extraordinary uh, company you keep. You, sir, are uh, more than uh, qualified to be uh, the next mayor of Yun. I thank you for your uh, vote of confidence. But the fact uh, remains, I'm wholly ignorant uh, of the world of politics. Which is uh, why I uh, would ask you to join me and uh, grant Yunmore the benefit of uh, your I would be honored. When the people behold uh, these taluses, uh, I have no uh, doubt they will uh, lend your lend you your 
Wow. I have no doubt they will lend you their uh, support. It would seem uh, Yunwar's uh, leadership is at last in uh, capable hands. Would you not agree? Uh, we should probably be, uh, be getting back soon, Mosushai. After you've uh, tinkered with the Talos and uh, all that, Lady Shai worried. Lady Shai is uh, worried sick. Right. Right then. Uh, form a line and make for your more. What's that noise? Wicked white! Run away Talos! Call the guard! All of you! <gasps> is that? Oh, of course it is. Darling, you're back. But of course I'm back. You didn't see. <gasps> Dear, dearest, I, I can't. I, oh. Ow. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh, love that scene. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, my darling. It's just the sight of you filled me with such joy. I couldn't help myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, it, it's all right, dear. I, I should have just come out and said what it was I was intending instead of entrusting the task to a hastily scribbled letter. Does that mean you'll do it? Well, I'm here, aren't I? I mean, not, not, not that my absence signified any unwillingness, you understand? Oh, no, naught could be further from the truth. I only left to enlist the aid of the former mayor's senior advisor. Sorry about that. That was uh, my phone. I forgot to turn off the sound on. And in fact, I am going to do that right now. And now that I have it, I believe I am ready to take office. There we go. Oh, how wonderful! Well, uh, 
we still have a few minutes left here, so uh, let's talk to uh, Brandon here. What's going on? That was quite a reception. Uh, one must be shy when I struggle to forget. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure of it. <laughs> oh man. More seriously, uh, the arrival of the Thanos has uh, seized the uh, public's uh, attention. Uh, once uh, word has uh, spread around uh, Yulmor, it will be uh, that much uh, simpler to uh, gather one and all uh, so that Moser Shai can uh, make his uh, un inaugural address. No need to fret, uh, Joffrey. I have never felt uh, better. Cough. <laughs> oh. And not at all uh, over overawed uh, by the uh, prospect of uh, addressing the assembled masses of Yulmor. Oh, cut them, share. I need to buy myself a new share. This one is about to give up. As for where to do it, uh, if we're to uh, accommodate everyone who uh, might uh, uh, feasibly wish to attend, I suppose uh, the only place large enough uh, would be the uh, emergent. Then I will go and uh, spread the word among the citizens. Uh, both free and uh, bonded, uh, that they are uh, to assemble uh, there to uh, meet a new mayor. You there, uh, cashier, was it? Uh, would you uh, go and inform the residents of uh, Gate Town and uh, Berlitz? Of course I will. Good lad, I will let the uh, guards know uh, not to bore the way of bore the way to uh, Wolfrey's uh, chambers. Uh, it goes so without saying that I expect the uh, warrior of darkness to attend, assuming uh, he's a wave of. Uh, might as well uh, see it through to uh, the better end. Eh? Uh, the doorman uh, at the crown brown lift uh, would show you up. Ah, yes, Master Shai told uh, us to expect you. Uh, the emergency is already filled up uh, with people of all uh, persuasions, uh, free and bonded citizens and non citizens. But for you, our uh, guest of honor, we have uh, reserved a place at the front, right, right this way, sir. Um, <clears throat> Go 
one, dear. Thank you all for gathering here today. Uh, but before going any further, could I, could I ask the free citizens of Yulmore to look around? It is a sight none of us would ever have seen under Lord Forthree's rule. Not only do we stand in the familiar presence of those we once called the bonded, but today we welcome the peoples of the derelicts and Gate Town too. Today we welcome the warriors of darkness, come to bear witness to Yulmore's new beginning. As you know, an election was recently held, at the end of which I had the honour of being chosen to succeed Lord Vothry. You place great faith in me, and I promise to do my utmost to live up to your expectations, and I will seek always to carry out the duties of this office with integrity and fairness. Always, I say, but not forever. Let it be known that I do not intend to hold this post indefinitely. I consider myself but an acting mayor who will serve only for the interim while Yulmor is reshaped according to a new set of values. No longer can we think of ourselves as divided, as the free and the bonded, citizens and non-citizens. The systems put in place by Lord Vorthry must be undone. But even as we tear down the old, we must give thought to the new, to what manner of nation Yulmor should become. Whatever the answer may be, it cannot be decided by one man alone. And so I propose that an open forum be held, that we might all discuss how best to strive towards a better future. However, there can be no talk of the morrow unless we first address the issues of today. Securing new sources of food, rebuilding relations with our neighbors, re-establishing industry, there is much and more that needs to be done. Too much for a mere man of business. And so I pledge instead to do everything in my power to ensure our city's security and stability while we all work together to see these problems solved. The road before us will not be easy, and I know full well how daunting the prospect of honest labor may seem to some of you. But we must accept the reality of our circumstances. We must move forward. This much we owe to ourselves and to the brave heroes who risked their lives to bring back the night. Once we have shored up our city's foundations and regained some semblance of normality, let us reconvene to speak of the future. Until then, I humbly ask that you lend me and each other your strength for Yulmor!
going to be the end of the, this episode. So I do want to thank you all for uh, watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, we'll uh, come back to the next episode. Uh, if you did like it, then uh, please hit the like button. It helps me a lot and uh, it also helps uh, other people finding my content on YouTube. And if you're new here, uh, first of all, welcome. And if you enjoy my content, then uh, why don't you hit uh, the subscribe button together with the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future uh, content. I will be back again tomorrow, and until then, stay safe out there.